day one at the Tampa RV Super Show. everybody welcome to adventure starts now my name is Lisa my husband is Jerry he's off doing Jerry things and we are so excited to tell you about our um, video this week we got the opportunity to go to the Tampa RV Super Show which we've dreamed of going to for about six years finally got to have that happen However, there was so much to see and do that this video is, is longer than our typical video. I want to encourage you to stick around to the very end because we found our new most favorite restaurant and we can't wait to share it with you. We actually got to interview the owners and man, they were great people, but it was such amazing food. We can't recommend it highly enough. Hope everybody's staying safe out there. Wash your hands and off to the video. Y'all can be part of it. Hey everybody, so we are at the RV Super Show in Tampa. We're just gonna be walking around the next couple of days and showing you guys some of the new stuff on the market. Uh, we're actually kind of looking for what our next RV might be down the road. So we're here with our friends, Jonathan and Jody. Over here, wave. <laughs> Hello. Best part of the RV show, food trucks. All right, this is the way to get around the show right here. I think I would need a bigger truck. So I'm afraid to ask, what is the weight on this thing? 35 dry, 45 gross. Woo! <laughs> this is our semi-platform though. We do fifth wheels and travel trailers okay. as well. Yeah, one peeve that oh, we have in campers, cool. heating vents in the floor, dirt and all kinds of crap just gets wow. swept into those things. These are cool steps. Oh, and 
that wall right there is a slide, slide out that goes out the back of the camper. Nice kitchen. This is something that I like. They're starting to do instead of putting the outdoor um, stove tops. You need the to check out the grill. The this is nice. That to me, that's more personal. And the beer fridge. You gotta have a beer fridge. So this is this is called a traditional rear living. Yeah. Because you have this going on. Your dimex. TVs over here. Oh, it's got a huge bathroom. Yeah. I think the only one seems... Nice kitchen size. Good size kitchen. Uh -huh. yep. That's it. Okay, sell the toys, honey. This is it. I told you, it's always an option. We don't have to have the toys. We had a hard time. Look it. We had a hard time pulling ourselves away from a from a layout like this. Drawers in there. Which is why I bought her a motorcycle, so she would have to have her toy. So it, it got us away from this. Well, I told her. I said. I found the grand design section and we're looking through some of the different layouts here we're looking for the 395 MS it's a new floor plan version of the 395 but we found some of the travel trailers that we had been looking at here's the uh, 29 G and two new floor plans that we haven't seen yet haven't put feet in 31G and a 30G. The 31G has a pretty nice sized garage in it.
That was the 31. This is the 30G here. Oh, this is not bad. This one's open all the way to the back. You see it's got the new, I guess they, they call them the three season doors. They've got glass panes in them as opposed to the previous version just had plastic that would cover up the screens. I think it was on Velcro and it would come off. But these actually have glass. They say it holds the heat and the, the cool in a little bit better. Check out what they've done in the bedroom. A little tight, but it would function. Small bathroom, but again, it would function. Another door into the bathroom there. People left me. This is the 29G. This is one we had kind of considered before we bought the camper that we have now. But again, some of the some aspects of this camper are a little tight. But it's a nice camper. There he is. Like a oh, in the box. He just shows up. How did y'all like the um, the 30, the, the open garage? You don't I like, like the that? No. I like the garage, but I didn't still didn't like where the TV was. Yeah, I didn't like the open garage. I didn't want like that the open division. garage. I like the space. I like the way they did it. Uh, that, yeah. that layout was I mean, nice. For somebody that doesn't mind having the garage as part of their living space, you're fine, but I didn't like, I want that division so that when we put the toys up, we don't have the smell. Yeah. Or if we have, like, you guys have already experienced with the kids over, you can shut that you've door. You've got a space. You've got, yeah. you've got that. That is one thing we do like, having whoever's with you to have their own private room. Yeah, and they have their own little half And the little bath. bathroom, right. Because there was a couple over here that were like, okay, I kind of like it, but no, no half bath. Right. Right. Which one's that, the 25? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get all the way in. <laughs> it came to eat my daddy's burden. And it came to be my friend. So I wrote the song to Matthew. It's for him the song is sung. Riding on his daddy's shoulder. Behind the mill beneath the sun And joy was just the thing that he was raised on Love is just the way to live and die Gold is the windy Kansas we feel Blue is just the Kansas summer sky And joy is just the thing that he was raised on Love is just the way to live and die Song by Mr. John Denver. Welcome everyone to the RV Super Show. Are you happy today? Are you happy to be here? So check out the kitchen setup on this one. You get the bath? Yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, we loved it. We were there last year. Well, oh, last yeah. the year before now. Right, right, right. But yeah, it was uh, a, what a beautiful place. Huh? That's one place we'll go when we get the camper. Yeah, yeah. One day, no, that's uh, cool. We'll go up there. We did, uh, oh, we did eight months on the road uh, that year. Not, again, not last year. Yeah, we got to check out your So, we did that. Oh, well, I do like it. You like the rear living? I well, it is kind of nice. You get more views, you know. Did I make a mistake by taking 
that's right. So this has got the new shower, shower head set up. All the sprayers on it. It shoots you in the belly when you take bigger than our shower at home. Now this is nice. Oh, and residential size, big oven. I know they do such a great job. Yeah. This is the bunkhouse model. That's cool. How cute! I know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Twenty-six nine. That's oh, the gosh. They've even carried the turquoise in here with the uh -huh. vanity. Isn't that cute? Oh, is that the menu? And that's a Murphy oh. bed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'll be fine with that, mate. You can just sell the pipes right here. We can sell the pipes. Just there you go. Even trade. Go tomorrow. Boom. Yep, yep. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which floor plan is this? 23 MBS. Oh, so cute. Oh, this one you get a bigger bathroom because you don't have the bunks. It's so cute. It is. It really this is. This reminds me of a retro diner. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of storage in there. Yeah. Those are your closets so you can keep all your clothes in there. That's actually a cool camper. Uh-huh. Cool. When they came out with these, we started watching them and these yeah, are just... I fell in love with them. A little tiny fridge. Yeah. But it would be all you would need for a, a weekend. Oh, yeah. You, know, you couldn't live in it. You could live in it. Now, here's a, I think a bigger one over here. Yeah. Well, uh, y'all just passed. Maybe the. Oh, this is cute. This is nice. Oh. You have to step up. It's not as tall as that one we went in. No. I mean. And then, this is then that opens, body. that becomes your, that opens all the way and shuts your. Yeah. Yeah, so then it has a lock up there from uh -huh. the inside that you put a slide lock. Okay. Now these are campers we've actually been interested in by Alliance. And this is our first chance to have a, you know, to get to put feet in it. So uh, we're going to check out some of the Alliances.
Oh, they got a toy bar. Huh? No, it's all in one. That is cool. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like later. Oh! Just for you to put your bike in and go sleep up there. Okay, I've seen this, this swing out awning cover. That is cool. It is. Oh, come on. Okay. okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now, see, this is nice. This is a separate living room, kitchen. Check the price. Oh, a piece of cake. No problem. I just want you to know what you're dealing with. <laughs> just another 30 grand. Uh huh. Good deal. Uh huh. That's another 20 grand. I do like the layout. Yeah. For another $20,000, I've got another one I can show you. Sell price 76. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. A mid bedroom. But it is nice, though. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to live in one, yeah. this is nice. I haven't seen this layout before. Have you? I never have. This is brand new to me. I like that. Shoes on time. Yeah. Now I don't know that I would like people having to walk through my bedroom. Yeah, I don't know that walking through the bedroom to get to the garage is no. But I do like the tent over the Yeah, I was just that is nice. I'd love to I need to get that let's see if I can add that to mine. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. I've done the easiest setup though. This is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Not familiar with this. I haven't seen a rope. Oh wow. Alright, this would be a great camping spot. Right here. Looking at twelve dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, this is this we just we we arrange this so it's a little wider, and then it just goes like this. That is cool. And also. Oh yeah. The loft is on this side and not mm -hmm. the other side. Yeah, we've seen that in some of the really high-priced ones, and some of them. Yeah. We that's went this nice. way because when kids and all that or guests, 
You know what? You close that door. Yes. That's right. Very dual pane seal. Great then you don't have to listen. You don't have to listen to everybody, and you don't have to, you know. Length on this garage. Forty. Oh, 15. Yeah. Fifteen. Oh, okay. good size garage. Good size. What's the length on the twenty-two? Yeah. Forty-four. We were just talking. I was just talking to my, my friend Kevin, who he rides with us, about the touch panel versus having switches. I a, really like this. This is a nice, I love the, well, of course, it's got the U-shaped kitchen that we like. Look at this refrigerator. That's huge. Here we are. This is really, did you see the bedroom? I haven't been there yet. I love the pantry. Look at the pantry. Mr. Passion, we'll check out the bedroom over here. And I like the bathroom, too. This is nice. Oh, wow. and the, the bed, this is something really cool. I wish we had this in our camper. The bed tilts up so that if you've been watching, I can't remember if we've got video of us walking around in the bedroom, but it's really tight between the bed and the wall. But because this bed tilts up, it opens up this space and gives you walking space. This is very nice. Plenty of, plenty of porcelain toilet, it looks like. Yep, porcelain toilet. Mm -hmm. yeah. That gray roof is also mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I love it. Those are your smaller versions. Like, do you have wolf pack over here? Toilet yeah, look at those two. Those are wolf rays. Okay. Okay, so that's going for hey, it. Hey, so Jonathan, here's, this is for So rivers. here's the what kind of deal that is. Is that wolf pack through there? To do one big one with Yeah. How do you like that? That's nice. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, no, just, oh no, I've said that before. Can we change this so that you can pass through there and here? I was just noticing that. That's nice down. that you can pass through from the front. Oh, yeah. oh yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so the generator is. So the right generator here. is right here. So there it is. Oh yeah. And what we did was we changed everything. So now instead of. Having one battery or sticking two batteries. Now you can fit up to eight if you want. Comfortable. You're not jamming your fingers and hurting your fingers. Fit up to eight batteries. You don't need eight because you're on power source, but two's always good. But you can or whatever. You got your outside shower, you got your black plus tank, you got your generator. You got more wheel station. Walkable roof. Yeah. All right, we found the Torx. We're going to see if we can find a 322. Here we go, this is our camper. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yours only has four seats though, right? Yeah. This is five. Oh, sure does. Yeah. Catch us five seats. All right, everybody, if this looks familiar, this is the new version of our camper. Oh, uh, it's kind of weird being in here. It is. <laughs> It is weird being in this camper. Did your door do that? Yeah, we, we, we've never used those. We've used the slop out of the couches, though. Oh, look at the faucet. The, the faucet difference. Uh -huh. They changed the sink. Oh, they, sh they sure did change the sink. I don't sink. like that at all. Got the coffee shelf. This right here is one of our favorite features. Yep, everything in here looks the same. That doorway is bigger. It is bigger doorway. I was fixing to say this door is because the spot where I uh -huh. isn't there. Yeah. That's that is a bigger doorway. Huh. So, I didn't go out in the garage yet. The garage door is it's bigger. It's bigger too. This feels really strange to me. It does. That's the same. Sorry guys, it's a little dark in here. It's got the same little table. Like I am home, no doubt. 
Time to raise it too loud I'm gonna light up the sky It's time to get up and go. Life passing by. Can't go slow. No, no. Alright, so we are looking at some landmark fifth wheels right now. Here at the General RV section at the show. Ended the first day of the RV show, and we are having dinner at a place here in Tampa called Half Moon Seafood. It it looks like a restaurant. Well, it is. It's a restaurant in a little strip mall area, but oh my gosh, this is great food for what we paid. This food is incredible. I don't know if you can see. I'm having to use my phone for this. But wow, I mean, it was a it was recommended by the hotel we're staying at, and cannot say enough great things about this place. How long yeah. have you been open? Uh, March 25th. So wow. we, were, we were in here four or five months every day, but we did about everything except for like some gas work and yeah. some electrical. But wow. yeah, so we just picked the worst time when we were ready to open. It was like, all right, y'all can do 50% seating and take out in your brand new restaurant. Yeah. So, you know, we've been fortunate. I mean, we were honestly in a better spot than a lot of businesses where they were ramped up to full staff and then had to come down. Wow. So we never had to do lay anybody off. We didn't just have to just start start with yeah. 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 yeah, so it took a little bit more of you know we have thankfully have a bigger family five people so we get a lot of free labor which is nice so um wow. but yeah so but everything you know we make everything from scratch it's all american, it's obvious. american yeah. source the only thing that's farm raised is catfish because you don't want you don't want wild caught catfish what? anyways they're picking up everything on the bottom yeah. so yeah. a lot yes. of seafood that you get in lower quality or cheaper establishments are farm raised in china so yeah. they're really cheap so we just wanted something where you could get good quality like seafood, like all my friends would come here and eat, we have beers, like hang out. Um, right. And then do in a fast casual environment where quite frankly, like we like good music, like the staff, everyone's super nice hopefully, and so that's our goal. We're so grateful for all the support everyone's given and we're in a great spot. Compared to where a lot of people are, it's been challenging. And quite frankly, like I said, we have roots in New England and a lot of people up north are struggling a lot more than we are, so we you know, wish everyone the best in that regard. It's a tough yeah. one. So. Great job! Thank you, guys! Bye! Bye, Joshua!